Hey guys, today we're going to continue with the belt drive and we're going to work on a mounting plate for our motor. This is quarter inch thick aluminum, uh, six inches by six inches. So we're going to be doing some slotting, we're going to round the corners off, bore some holes, and machine a pocket. And then we're going to round off the corners as you can see here. So let's get started. slots cut in there. Alright, so I'm going to swap this out for a 3 8 inch end mill and then we're going to do the pocket. Alright, let's take it out and take a look. Alright, so we finished machining our motor mount and risers for the belt drive. So I wanted to kind of go over all the bits and pieces that I'm going to be using for the belt drive. So we have our two risers. These are one and a half by three quarters by twelve inches long. Need two of those. The motor mount is six inches by six inches and it's a quarter inch aluminum plate. For the bolts and screws, I thought I would take a minute and just kind of write them down. So we're going to need some M6 by 1.0 and these are 60 millimeter long. These will replace the original bolts that hold the top of the gearbox. So we'll just remove those and then replace them with these and that will help mount this to the front. Uh, next we have M8 one point by 1.25 by 35 millimeters. These are going to mount the riser to the original motor mount locations. So one there and one here on each side. Those are all, these are both socket head screws. 
Next we're going to need some M6 by 1.0 by 12 millimeter long countersink. These are for mounting the motor mount to the motor. So we need four of those. And then we need four hex bolts. These are M8 by 1.25 by 25 millimeters along with the washer and that is to mount so we can slide our motor mount back and forth. So that's pretty much it for our hardware. We're going to need some poly V-belt. Uh, those are PJ200 or PJ210. Uh, uh, 21 and 20 is the length in inches. So I'm not sure exactly which one we're going to be using. Uh, these are six grooves. Alright guys, so that wraps up the machining part of the belt drive. So now I'm going to try to get this all disassembled and get this mounted up. Thanks for watching the videos guys. If you have any suggestions or questions, please feel free to comment. Thumbs up if you like the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and most importantly, be safe.